In the midst of Kiev's military operation against anti-government protesters in eastern Ukraine and international attempts to solve the crisis, another story has now stolen some of the spotlight. Well, flyers telling Jews in eastern Ukraine to register have been distributed in the Donetsk region, sending shockwaves across the country and the world. It also sparked a harsh response from Washington, with the U.S. ambassador to Kiev calling the flyers, quote, the real deal, and the Secretary of State also addressing the matter. In the year 2014, after all of the miles traveled and all of the journey of history, uh, this is not just intolerable, it's grotesque. It is beyond unacceptable. Well, here's what sparked the reaction. A leaflet published in the name of the uh, anti-Kiev Donetsk People's Republic but those who lashed out uh, failed to take into account that the leaflet could in fact be fake. And that's exactly what it turned out to be, as the head of RT's social media, Ivor Crotty, explains. When the buzzword is de-escalation, this was definitely off-message. John Kerry's righteous denunciation of the anti-Semitic leaflets handed out to Jews outside of Donetsk synagogue had some media, CNN, CBS and USA Today, wanting to believe the threat was real. But the so-called evidence is far from established, despite the hysteria. The man alleged to have signed the order denied it outright. It's a real provocation. Such letters were issued also against businessmen and foreign students. It's a badly made provocation. And there's a sign from the people's governor. I never call myself by that title. No one elected me. The stamp is photoshopped. It's bigger than the real one. And the text of the letter is stupid. This sparked a wave of rejection from those on the Ukraine beat. The National Conference supporting Jews in Russia and Ukraine didn't rush in, but pushed back. They call the leaflets fake. New Republic's Julia Yoffa, who took a trolling for her stance, called them a hoax. And BuzzFeed's Max said and lashed out. US leaflet hype, the sort of thing driving hate of America, an anti-Semitic smear versus half of Donetsk. Conspiracy theory? Here's one. The sinister leaflet was lifted from a Soviet-era play by the Strugatsky brothers, pictured here. It's a story that has led reporters in Donetsk down long corridors to empty rooms. Follow up on the fear and fallout from John Kerry's leaflet gaffe on RT.com. Yeah, we discussed the matter with Alexander Mokouris, an expert on international law who is closely following the situation in Ukraine. He says a story with a fake document is just another chapter in the campaign against anti-Kiev protests in the east of the country. It is absolutely incredible. You would expect that the Secretary of State of the United States, before uh, spreading gossip of this kind, would be checking his facts very carefully. Many in the Western media feel about the strongly anti-Semitic views of some people in the Kiev regime, which are unlike this uh, uh, letter, extremely well documented. So for that reason, um, the opportunity to say that Eastern Ukrainian protesters who are protesting against fascism in Kiev are themselves anti-Semites was a golden opportunity to discredit them. And that's why this story was spread without any regard to its truth.